if you haven't subscribed my channel press this red button right now and don't forget to click this bell icon so that every time I upload a video you'll hear this notification Hello and welcome to this chapter of Know Your Stars. In this chapter, we will be learning two basic terms in sky gazing. Those are apparent motions and constellations. We will be understanding them using demonstrations. Towards the end of this video, I will be asking you a question based on what you saw in this video. So do watch this till the end. Look at the night sky. It's full of stars. It's not easy to spot a particular star in the sky when there are so many around. Also, our night sky doesn't remain fixed. As the earth moves, the whole sky moves like a moving film screen. But if you look at the stars closely, you will find something interesting. See this video. Just choose any three stars and keep watching them. Notice that the whole of background is moving, but the stars don't appear to change their places relative to each other. They remain fixed. In reality, none of the celestial objects is fixed. All stars are moving. But because they are so far away from us, we do not seem to see their motion. We can see their change in places only after thousands of years have passed. However, the objects which are closer to the earth do appear to change places. Let us understand this. This is a sky map and this image shows a part of the sky as on 20 December 2019 exactly at 8.30 pm. You can see Venus. We are going to track its movement in the sky. See this pattern of stars marked in the orange box very closely. We will be using them as a reference point for tracking the movement of Venus. We can see Venus and our orange box stars are far away from each other. Now let us fast forward one month. This is the sky position on 20th January 2020 exactly at 8.30 pm. Venus has travelled all the way and is now seen just besides the pattern of stars we marked in the orange box. Now let us find another reference point in this image. This is our reference point number 2. Observe the pattern of stars in the orange box. Now we will again fast forward one month. This is the sky position on 20th February 2020 exactly at 8.30 pm. You can notice that Venus has once again travelled all the way and is now besides our reference point number 2 after a month. Let us find a third reference point now. This cluster of stars is our third reference point. Now let's again fast forward to 20th March 2020. Venus has now moved closer to the cluster of stars which we marked. Thus, we can infer that Venus keeps changing its place in the sky relative to other stars in the sky. This movement is called apparent motion. All the planets, comets, asteroids, moon and even the sun have this apparent motion. Just an off-topic question. Have you ever heard the words Rashi? or Kundali or Zodiac 
Kundali is nothing but a drawing list sky chart that tells us the positions or the stars near which the sun or moon or the planets were nearby at the precise moment of your birth. Rashi as per Indian astrology is the set of stars near which the moon was lying at the moment of your birth. So if you know the time, date and location at the time of your birth, you can draw a short sky map. Conversely, if you know the positions of the planets, sun and the moon on specific events like eclipses or equinoxes, you can derive or find out the time and date of a specific event. Ancient sky gazers or ancient Indian sky gazers not just observed the apparent motions of the planets and sun or moon, but even recorded and find, found out their speeds, angles, deviations and prepared mathematical formulas and models that form the basis of modern Indian calendar and astrology. It's an undeniable fact that Indian astrologers are guardians of that branch of astronomy which has a database of billions of hours of sky gazing over thousands of years. Here we conclude our first topic of this video. Now let us move on to the next topic. In the previous demonstration, we tried to identify some patterns in the sky to find out the apparent motions. Identifying patterns makes sky gazing effortless. Pictures and patterns always fascinate us. It's easier to remember a picture or a pattern rather than reading mere text. If I tell you to remember a star or spot a star in the sky with specific features, you may or may not be able to do it. But if I show you a specific picture or a pattern, it will be very, very easy. See this beautiful picture. If I tell you to remember the pattern of stars seen in this picture, you may not be able to do it. Now see this. I just drew lines and joined some stars. Looks better, isn't it? But let's get more creative. What does it look like now? A scorpion in the sky? Such imaginary lines and pictures drawn in sky are called constellations. Let us look at some more beautiful pictures of some popular constellations.
different cultures around the world imagined different pictures in the sky. So the patterns and names of constellations vary all around the world. Ancient sky gazers who lived around 5000 years ago imagined pictures of objects that they found important like animals or gods or princesses. Modern sky gazers looked pictures in the sky which they found relevant like chisels or air pumps or telescopes. Currently International Astronomical Union has recognized 88 constellations. Constellations are not just aesthetics. They serve as a memory aid and form the basis of sky gazing. I received many questions and suggestions after the previous video and I am answering one of them. After I have answered this question, I will be asking you a question as well. So stay tuned. So the question is, how do you know if a planet, Venus in our case, is in fact Venus? The answer to this question is not a straight one. It's multifaceted. It's like asking me if I am really Tejas Bhagat. If you ask me this question, what I'll do is I'll just come up with my identity card and say, hey, I am Tejas. But stars do not have identity cards. The only way to identify them is to distinguish them from other celestial objects. So if you want to distinguish Venus from other celestial objects, the first thing you need to do is distinguish it from the stars, which we did it in the previous video. Now the next thing to do is, is to distinguish it, distinguish it from other planets. Let us see some pictures of some planets. This is planet Mercury as seen from the messenger spacecraft. It has a rocky surface and appears pretty much like the moon. It has phases like the moon as well. This is planet Mars. It is the second brightest planet in the sky after Venus. Mars usually appears distinctly red, yellow or orange in the sky. Its polar ice caps are also a notable feature for viewing. Planet Jupiter It appears as bright as Mars in the sky, only second to Venus. The great red spot on its surface is something to look out for. It is usually accompanied by several of its smaller moons. Saturn its beautiful rings is its prominent feature. However, you need powerful binoculars or telescopes which magnify at least 30 times to get a clear image of the rings. Venus Do you know, just like Moon and Mercury, even Venus has phases? All the pictures that we saw now are either telescopic images or taken from spacecrafts. We could easily see the features of all the planets in them. But if you try to see these features with naked eye, it may be impossible. Therefore, even if you identify a planet in the sky with naked eye observations, you may not be able to confirm it. For that, you will need special tools like a telescope or a scanner. So the answer for the question is, if you want to confirm if this planet 
is actually Venus, view it using a telescope or confirm it using a sky map. You can't confirm it otherwise. Okay, so now it's my turn to ask you a question. Here's it on the screen. How many constellations have been recognized as of today by International Astronomical Union? 12, 13, 76 or 88? Drop your answers in the comment section after the end of this video. If you like this video, do let me know your suggestions. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And keep watching the stars. They are waiting.